Hi guys, so in this video here, we're going to be looking at the square root equation. So what do I mean by that? Let's say we're having a problem where we have the root of x is equal to 3. And we also solve for x with this problem here. So the first thing you need to do, because there's a square root on one side and then there's a number on the other side, you can just square both sides and continue solving for x. So you just want to square both sides. Right, and by squaring both sides, you're actually removing the square root, right? So you're just going to remain with x is equal to 3 to the power of 2. So 3 to the power of 2 is actually equal to 9. So therefore, x is equal to 9. But that is not your solution of x. Why am I saying that? You need to do a check before you confirm that this is a solution of x, right? So you're just going to say check. When I say check, you are doing a check. You are checking on whether or not it is actually the solution of x. So what you're going to do is you're going to look at the left-hand side of your equation, which we have the root of x. Um, what did we find? The x value found it to be 9. So we're just going to substitute the 9 where there's x, and then um, the solution that you're going to get here is plus or minus 3. So you must get the right hand side. The right hand side is equals to what? 3, right? That's the original part of the equation. So if you take a look here, we are getting plus or minus 3, of which we need to take the plus solution of this uh, left hand side. And it confirms that um, we are getting the same digit, right? Um, we are getting 3 on the left hand side, which is equals to 3 on the right hand side. So it confirms now that this x equals to 9 is actually the solution of x. Let's do another problem. If maybe this one was a bit, you know, uh, you're still uh, getting your feet and trying to understand. So let's try out this one here. We, let's say we're having uh, a root of x plus 6 is equals to x, right? I know now you just know that you just need to put in the square root, right? But we don't have to put the square root now here because um, the whole purpose of putting a square root is to remove, sorry, the whole purpose of squaring both sides. It is to remove the square root, right? So um, we don't have to square now. We need to remove the six to the other side, right? So you're going to remain it, the square root of x is equal to x minus 6, right? And then from here, now you can put the square root. Why? Because you want to remove the square root. You, you, go, you have to square both sides, sorry. I don't know why I keep on saying that. You have to square both sides and then you'll remove the square root, right? So it's going to be square both sides, square both sides. And then here you remain with x being equal to, so I'm just going to expand this. It's going to be x minus 6 and x minus 6, right? So from here, we are just going to find the product for this part of the equation. It's going to be x is equal to, um, so we all know how to find the product, right? So if you don't know, we just use this, um, which will guide you. And you know, it's just going to go like this. So what I normally say is this is number one, this is number two, this is number three, and this is number four. So it tells me is in number one, we are saying x times x. And then in number two, we are saying um, x times minus six. In number three, we are saying minus six times x. In number four, we are saying minus six times minus six, right? So this helps you to see on how you need to uh, find the product. So you're going to get x squared minus 6x minus 6x plus 36, right? So from here, um, you are just going to um, say x equals to x squared, and then you add these like terms, so it's going to be minus uh, 12, sorry. So it's going to be minus 12, x plus 36, right? And then from here, you're just going to take the x from the other side. Uh, you transpose it to the other side. So you're going to have x squared minus 12x minus x plus 36 is equals to a 0, right? And then from here, we're going to say x squared minus 13x plus 36 is equals to 0. So now we're having a standard form, standard form 
of equation. So we can just factorize from this point here. Find the factors of 36 such that when you add or subtract those two factors, they give you the middle term, which is 13. Right? So the factors of x squared is x, so it's going to be x and x. The factors of 36 that give you the middle term when you add or subtract is going to be 9 and 4. So if you add 9 and 4, you're going to get 13. Or if you just put a negative 9 and a negative 4, you're still going to get a negative 13. Or if you add 9 plus 4, it's still 13. But the most important thing is to check the middle term, uh, the sign of the middle term, which is negative. So you're just going to put negative both sides and equate to 0. And then from here, I'm um, just going to say x minus 9 equals to 0 or x minus 4 equals to 0. So x is equals to 9 or x is equals to 4. So these are your solutions of x, but you can say, you can conclude and say these are the solutions of x. Why? You need to conduct your checks and see if both these solutions are valid or one of these solutions is valid and the other is not. Please do confirm. How do you do that? You're going to say check, right? And then from there, what does your left-hand side look like? It is the root of 6, sorry, the root of x. The root of x plus 6. Excuse me. So let's check for x being equals to 9, right? So it's going to be the root of 9 plus 6 which you're going to get so just just use the positive solution of the root of 9 right um, so when you conduct your checks here you'll see that um, root of 9 plus 6 you're going to get 9 because here it's going to be 3 plus 6 which is 9 right so this is the left hand side of the equation how does the right hand side of the equation look like um, the right hand side of the equation is equals to x right so if it's x and you know that you used a solution of x of 9 then just substitute which is 9 so you can see now that the, the right hand side is equals to the left hand side so therefore um, x is definitely equals to 9 so this is your first solution of x which is granted as correct now let's check um, the other solution of x, which is x being equals to 4. So I'm um, just going to, let me first erase this here. And then I will conduct the checks for x being equals to 4. So let me just do it. So when x is equals to 4, the left hand side uh, is going to be the root of 4 plus 6 and which you get 2 plus 6 which is equals to 8 right that's what i'm getting from the left hand side and then the right hand side we know that it's actually equals to x right of which we are using x being equals to 4 so basically the right hand side is equals to 4 so these two numbers are not the same the right hand side and the left hand side are not the same they're not equal so therefore, x is not equals to 4. So that's how you need to leave it. So in conclusion, you can say, uh, therefore, x is equals to 9 or x is not equals to 4. So it's important to check your equations, otherwise you won't get full marks. Fine. Let's try out another problem and just expand our understanding of this topic here. So what we have is you have your root of 9x plus 9 is equals to x plus 3. So because there's a root on the other side of the equation, which is uh, standing alone, um, we're just going to square both sides. So we're going to square both sides uh, of this equation here. And then you remain with 9x plus 9 is equal to, I'm just going to expand this, x plus 3 and x plus 3, right? So from here, let's find the product um, for this one. So it's going to be this one and this one and this and this. Remember, this is number 1, this is number 2, this is number 3, this is number 4, meaning you first multiply number 1, you 
you multiply number two, you multiply number three, you multiply number four. Fine. Uh, so you're going to have 9x plus 9 is equals to x squared plus 3x plus 3x plus 9, right? So um, then from here, what you're going to do is, um, because this positive 9 is also positive 9 on the other side, so they're just going to uh, cancel out, right? Even if you transpose one on the other side, it's going to be negative, so they're going to cancel out. So what you remain with is 9x is equals to x squared plus 3x plus 3x, right? And I'm just going to transpose this 9x here, so it's going to be x squared plus, so this 3x, 3x is going to be 6x minus 9x equals to 0, right? And then from here, um, I'm going to say x squared, so plus 6x minus 9x, it's minus uh, 3x, right, equals to 0. Right, and from here, um, we're just gonna factorize, um, factor out the x because it's common throughout, and then you remain it x minus 3, and then it's equals to 0. Then your solutions of x for this problem here it's x being equals to 0, or x minus 3 equals to 0, so x equals to 0, or x equals to 3. So, as I said initially in previous problems, you need to conduct a check. So you need to check on whether or not these solutions of x are valid, right? So to conduct our checks, um, what we will do is this. Looking at the left-hand side of the equation, we are having the root of 9x plus 9, right? Of which, um, if we try to check for x being equal to 0, therefore here it's going to be 9 into 0 plus 9, right? Um, which you'll get 9 because this would be 0 and then the root of 9 is 3 so I'm not going to include the negative part I'm just going to take the positive 3 so let's say this is your right hand side so how does your left hand side look like so left I mean right hand side sorry because this is the left hand side so the right hand side is um, x plus 3 right so it's x plus 3 so what is the solution of x that we're using? We're using x equals to 0. So it's 0 plus 3, so it's equals to 3. So the left-hand side and the right-hand side are equal, meaning that the x equals to 0 is the solution of x, right? So and then let's conduct checks for uh, x being equals to 3 now and see if x being equals to 3 is the solution of x right so the left hand side is equals to uh, the root of 9x plus 9 of which you are using x being equals to 3 now so the root of 9 into 3 plus 9 right um, so you're just going to put that in your calculator and see if you're going to get uh, what answer so i'm getting 6 that's the answer that i'm getting in my calculator please confirm that uh, in the left hand side and in the right hand side um, we know that it's x plus 3 right of which our x in this case is 3 so it's going to be 3 plus 3 which is equal to 6 so therefore um, it's also okay so it concludes that um, x being equal to 3 is also a solution of x right so both solutions are correct. So you can just confirm or conclude and say x equals to 0 or x is equals to 3. So these two solutions are valid. If they're not, please confirm that in the comment section below. Just do a recheck. Otherwise, that's what I'm getting here. So now, um, I think um, I'm done solving the problems. Please try out these two problems. Please try out these problems here, which is the root of 2x minus 5 being equals to the root of x minus 2. Excuse me. And then the second one, you can try out root of x plus the root of x plus 3 is equals to 3. So please try out these two problems and let me know the solutions in the comment section. If you are facing any challenge solving them, let me know so that I can create a video 
and explain how they are done. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, please write them down in the comment section below. Otherwise, please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click that bell button.